welcome back to more Demon Slayer season three, arguably season four. I don't know why that's a thing, but people do like to argue with me that it's actually season four. So let's not start this Sunday off by doing that. Season three. Yes. First of all, before we get into today's video, I kind of want to like apologize for the lack of content on this channel at the moment. As you guys know, I'm getting married and I decided that I wanted to do a lot of the things myself without realizing how much work actually goes into being crafty when you're not a crafty person. And yeah, there's been like a learning curve on how to do what I would class as the basic of things and I'm also now going to London next week because your girl has been invited to a premiere of The Flash. Now that movie isn't coming out for another two weeks I want to say and I was like oh I have to wait and I love Batman and da 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 But I have been invited to premiere an early screening of The Flash which is in London so I have to travel for that, get a dog sitter, blah blah blah. And then I have a photo shoot next week as well and I'm just I'm kind of at the point where I'm like all I want to do is sit down and watch anime. Am I right? Like, that's just what I want to do. Also, thank you so much for all the recommendations. I've picked one, I've had like a little look at it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of interested in that one. So that'll hopefully be starting very, very soon. But once the wedding is out of the way, which is going to be very, very soon, I hope that my face decides to be my friend, my chronic illness, and I can just get back to giving you guys some content. Yeah, I've been missing you guys. I've been missing my office, funnily enough. And I've just been missing watching some anime and playing some video games, which I can't believe that that is my job. But anyways, we are here. It is Demon Slayer Sunday. I am so excited. In the last episode, we met another one of the upper four demons and it split off. It was very mean. Actually, it was not very nice to the other upper four demons. It, it didn't care about them whatsoever. Had me over here feeling bad for them. And now it's like a kid version of the demon. It's very, very angry as well. So Tanjiro is dealing with that. Genya is also dealing with that. And now we're kind of getting a bit more information about the upper five. The upper five does not like to be ignored. Do not, under any circumstance, ignore the upper five, okay? It likes the attention. It should make a YouTube channel. That's what I think. Get all them views, you know? Get all the attention for being the horrible demon that you are, because you're horrible, yeah? So it was attacking the swordsmith, and it was getting nothing, because the swordsmith is like, I must finish my job, da 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 That's dedication up in here. Muchiro, yes. Remembering the name, totally just didn't look it up. Muchiro managed to get out of the water jutsu and is coming for the upper fifth. I would like to get a bit more information about this character. It seems very deep. Well, I kind of like that. I do like him. He's kind of the opposite of Tanjiro and Tanjiro is kind of like this uplifting, you know, you can do it kind of character. Muchiro, a little bit more like in on himself. I want to know why. I want a bit more information on him. So maybe we'll get that in today's episode. And maybe we'll kick the ass off the upper fifth. Okay, enough dilly daddling. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Episode eight. Let's do it. <coughs> Look at the size of those things though. Imagine having them in your face. Duh. So if I recall, the needles were poisoned, right? I really like fish and I wanted a pet one recently, but like, yeah, now I'm not so sure. They have it everything. Yes. Oh. Kill the fish. 
The animation in season three of Demon Slayer, potentially season four, season three of Demon Slayer, it's just blowing me away. And I know there's always this argument that people like to have where it's like, it's cool to hate on something that's trending. I'm not really into that. Like for me, if I enjoy something, I enjoy it. Like I don't care if it's trending or not. I just feel like that was a tangent. (laughs) I just feel like since I started Demon Slayer, all those years ago, I was like, this is so good. Like, Naruto is still up there as my favorite anime, but Demon Slayer? God, it might even take over my love of sword art. I don't even know if that's possible, but we're getting there. Now, don't forget, if you want to watch this unedited with me, to head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video, or my website, suzilu.co.uk. Why is the my dad do that? Oh god, no tears, no tears today, please, no. God, the world of Demon Slayer, it just feels like nobody had this really nice upbringing. No one that we know of, anyway. Well, we heart's breaking for him already. Well, I did say I wanted some kind of backstory on him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no. His dad didn't come back. No one should have to go through that ever. Like it kills me to know that there's people who do. I hope that there was someone else, you know, throughout his teen years. What do you mean? What he did was really honorable. Listen, I know that my partner would do the same. Because you would try anything to save the one you love. You would. What? What a disgusting thing to say! It's awful! Does it actually? Like, is there a translation that can tell me that's what it actually means? Or is he just being a douche? The thing with his brother was that he probably took on all the responsibility that the mum and dad had to look after uh, Muchiro. I can never pronounce it. Like he's got the sensitivity of his mother and it seemed like his twin brother had the resentment of losing the parents because he had to take on this responsibility. Okay, I'm a horrible person. I read that as a bitch spirit. <laughs> I'm not the only one in the world. Someone else read it as that too. Oh. Dude, what is your problem? Like, did you not want to accept some help? Guy, read the room! Your brother's ration right now! I'd be like, bro, you've turned into such a housewife. Can you stop, please? I get where he's coming from, but I also don't like his attitude. 
さっさと晩飯の支度をしろ Yeah, basically everything he just said screams trauma. You know? ずっと家へ通ってくれるアマネ様に兄が水を浴びせかけた時だけ一度喧嘩をしたきり。あかばい、they never spoke again? Like, not even like, good morning, hey? Wow, that's insane. So they stuck together, but they didn't even say a word. I would just keep punching my brother until he acknowledged me. <laughs> I get it though. He wanted Muchido to be strong, but he also wanted to keep him safe. Like, I get where he was coming from with this, but, you know, speak to your brother. Oh no, you left the door open. You knew there w a s demons in the world and you left the door open? Like, I'm scared. Okay, okay. It's just because of Demon Slayer, you know? It's like something bad's gonna happen. His brother isn't with us here today, so. <sighs> you would just think that he would have warmed up to Muchido a little bit more, like over the year, or like just. I don't know. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god, his arm! Oh my god. Like, why would you leave the door open though? You knew about the demons! どうせお前らみたいな貧乏な木こりは何の役にも立たねえだろう。Well, if they're so useless, leave him alone then! <gasps> 目の前が真っ赤になった。生まれてから一度も感じたことのない腹の底から吹きこぼれ出るような激しい怒りだった。Cause in that moment he really did lose everything. とてつもない方向が。まさか自分の喉から口から発せられていると思わなかった。Like to have to bury your mom and dad and then your brother and the relationship being so strained。だけど頭が潰れても死ねないらしく苦しんでた。That's insane though! I can't believe he did that! Blind rage will do that to you, huh? 突然体が鉛みたいに重くなって目の前にある家まで随分時間がかかってしまった。All the adrenaline and everything, like it would have just kind of left his body and then that was that, you know? 生きてる、兄さん。Oh no. I'm like, I feel like I know what's about to happen, and I'm not. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Kumi Sama Otok Sama Tok Tok Otot Dakua Tuske de Kudasa. It's like, see, I told you. After everything, he did care. Of course, he cared. How do you believe that you literally got in his way? There's no way you believe that. So, what did it mean? What did it actually mean? Munanda Kasumi no Kokyu, Shinokata. It's so hard because he just wanted to save his brother, he just wanted to look after him. Oreno Kotoa Ikar Haganezukazo Taskete Katanao Amote. Oh, that story has literally broken my heart, honestly. 
It doesn't help that I have a brother. <laughs> and I always think about like being in that situation with him. There is nothing that you could do to stop this guy. He is finishing his work. Huh. Oh, it's so fast though. You're damn right, he did. And you call yourself an upper, huh? Seems like a rookie mistake to me. That's right! I didn't even realize how similar they looked! Ah! I just thought this was like his own special one, you know? Oh! Oh my god, here we go! Kick his ass! That just came out of a vase? Are you kidding me? His voice creeps me out so much. Like, it's so good. It's done so well. <laughs> Look at him! He's just like, never mind where I'm at. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, face doesn't look bothered to me. He was not bothered! Oh. Destroyer of demons. Oh, the music is just killing me in this episode. It's beautiful. He doesn't remember anything? Was it his trauma kind of set that off, do you think? Like he didn't want to remember because his past is so hurtful. It's killing me! But I'm alright now and I'm gonna kick his ass! No way! There's no way you were faster than that! No way! そうかな。何?随分感覚が鈍いみたいだね。何百年も生きてるからだよ。Oh! No! We did get it! We got him! I think this is the end of you! Wait, what? Come on, you've got this. This is your moment right here. After everything you've been through. See, I told you. It's because he didn't want anything to happen to him. But it's okay. He's okay now. This is such a beautiful episode. It really is beautiful. Ah. <laughs> such a beautiful episode and it Why do they go so quickly? Ah. God, I'm not okay after that one. I feel like I always relate to scenarios or situations where I'm like I could imagine my brother because he's older being like that with me where I would be like the one that he would think I was being a bit crazy with my ideas or whatever and I'm like yeah I'm gonna go and be a swordsman whereas he was feeling all this pressure this entire time to look after his brother whereas maybe what he didn't realize was he felt he had to, but he didn't. But still. It doesn't make it any easier. And the amount that he has gone through since his parents died and his brother died that day. I completely understand 
this calm demeanor that he has now because of everything. Because obviously he's going to be suffering from trauma as well. It's, it's going to be there. <sighs> Just... I'm fine. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that episode. I mean, I'm all about family and... Yeah, just thinking about everything that he had to go through and then the life that he had to live after. What was it he said? He was alone after the age of 11? I mean, come on. Could you imagine the real world, this happening, and then an 11-year-old just going out into the wild by themselves? It'd be nuts. It'd be absolutely insane, so... Oh, I feel, you know, I feel like I just need to go and have a good cry now because that was, um, touched me, really touched me. I was actually expecting him to maybe die in that episode, you know, take out the upper fifth and then that's his time. But I'm glad that wasn't the case, you know, and I hope that in the next episode, the upper fifth can get what's coming to him. It's gonna happen. Okay, thank you so much as always for hanging out with me for some more Demon Slayer today and I will catch you all next Sunday.